Yo, what is up, YouTube? We are back on the Madden 17. It's Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. Cowboys played Thursday. Cowboys got the dub yesterday. So it's a pretty good day for your boy. We got new team heroes, new men of the month. Nonsense out in mud. Cam Chancellor, 95. Overall strong safety man of the month. Honestly, should have been Landon Collins. Landon Collins has been beasting quickly. Check out the elites for these teams. Willie Young, Burfitt, Corey Graham, Emmanuel Sanders, Terrell Pryor, Senior Terrell Pryor been killing it this year. I don't know how he doesn't have a better card. Zomar Dotson, Kevin Minter, Terrell Williams, Steven Nelson, Mike Adams, Ronald Leary. Leary been long overdue for that elite upgrade. Laramie Tonsil missed it. 420 plays it himself. Got a left tackle. Nigel Brodham, Grady Jarrett, Vance McDonald, Sterling Shepard, Brandon Linder, Brian Winters, Theo Riddick, David Bacardi, Charles Johnson, Marcus Cannon, Jasmine, Jamie, so, Olawali, Maurice, yo, it's a lot of players, fuck, I don't even know half these suits, I'm gonna keep scrolling, check your team, Sam Bradford, and yeah, those are the men of the month for December, football outsiders, I haven't done many outsiders videos this year, cuz, I haven't really cared about them too much, to be honest, but this week, we actually got some good stuff, man, Kaepernick, 84 overall gold card, this bad boy's gonna sell, I know it is, 85 speed, 90 throw power, 79 throw deep, 84 short and mid, 87 throwing run. He had a monster game. Threw for like 300 yards almost. Rushed for over 100 yards. Had three TDs. He had a monster game. Like a legit monster game. He lost that game, so it was a losing effort. But I wish they would have gave him the elite. The big time elite for this week is Justin Houston. 91 overall. 84 speed. 91 tackle pursuit and block shit. 89 hit power. 87 play rank and 80. 6 XL week 12 what kind of numbers that you put up three sacks damn three sacks is crazy for Harry's pass deflection first fumble and seven run tackles for a combined three yards whoa this dude stay in the backfield and making plays on that line of scrimmage he had a pretty beastly day I debuted my Super Bowl team yesterday and one thing I needed to upgrade was my O-line so we're gonna check out an O-lineman Mark whoa okay see I, I can't do this I'm not gonna spend 100k for an old lineman, but his stats are cool. 94 impact block, 90 pass block, 89 run block, very solid stats. I almost forgot about this guy. Men of the month camp chancellor, baby. 95 or uh, 90 speed, 92 tackle, 95 hit power, 94 pursuit, 91 zone, 91 excel, and 77 man coverage compared to my current strong safety, Bob Sanders. He's killing Bob, baby. He, he's got Bob beating every stat, hit power, pursuit, zone coverage, man coverage, tackle. Now, we'll say this. The only stat he's really dominating Bob in is tackle. Every other stat, Bob Sanders is almost identical to this card. You know, zone coverage plus three, that's an okay jump. But every other stat is just two or less, except for tackle. And then, of course, height. Cam 6'3", Bob is 5'8". That's a seven-inch difference. But when it comes to height in this game, I don't think you're going to re really feel those seven inches too much. I don't know, man. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments. But a good budget option, if you're not too pressed about that height, is Bob Sanders. Now, packs, we're going to have a quick pack run for some of these new football outsiders. And it's a great time to talk some football, man. It was one game to win yesterday, so we can just focus on the Cowboys game. And Cowboys versus Vikings, I caught the second half of it. And it was a pretty good game. Dak was struggling from what I saw. I came to that conclusion. Dak's a good mobile quarterback, but his pocket presence isn't that good. I don't think Dak has good pocket presence. Like, I think he's a good athlete, but I don't think his pocket presence is that great. Now, another thing that could contribute to, I guess, his poor pocket presence is his right tackle, Doug Free, is ass. Whenever you see Dak getting stripped, whenever you see somebody coming, swatting that ball out of Dak's hands, it's because Doug Free got his ass beat, man. Doug Free is the weak link to that O-line. I think I saw click it on, on Twitter saying maybe put Lael Collins at right tackle. The transition from guard to tackle isn't a seamless transition. From guard to guard, center to guard, simple. You can plug and place guys there. But from guard to right tackle, it's a little different. But in this rare case, Lael Collins is such a great athlete. I think it could work. I, I think it legit could work if Lael came back and played right tackle. Doug Free... D Doug Free's been fucking terrible, man. But with that being said, Dak Prescott has to keep two hands on the ball. He's too antsy in the pocket. He gets one hand on that thing. Too many fumbles, man. Like, I could definitely see the Cowboys losing a playoff game or the Super Bowl to some bullshit because Dak Prescott didn't put two hands on the ball or fucking Doug Free got his ass whipped and gave up a big sack. Now, another thing about that game I like to point out is, is, is some of you would say the Cowboys got exposed. I don't think the Cowboys got exposed. One, the Vikings, probably the best defense in the NFL. The Cowboys played a terrible game. 
and still won the game. Like, even when the Cowboys came out not really looking like the Cowboys we saw this year, we still won the game. Then, at the same time, we're not going to face that defense again this year or an offense that has that same firepower on defense. I was thinking the Raiders might be that team, but the Raiders' defense, statistically, is ranked terrible, man, and they ain't even played nobody. So, they've played nobody, and their defense still has graded out terribly. People say the Cowboys played nobody, but even then, our, our defense is still, like, I think, what, top 20 defense, and we've played the Steelers' high-powered offense. We've played the Giants' loaded offense. Like, we've played some good offenses, and the offense is graded out, or defense is graded out solid. Played the Bengals. Didn't give up nothing to A.J. Green, so... I'm not worried about many teams. Some people say the Giants are in rare form. Super Bowl form. I honestly think that's just Cowboys haters getting together in like a, a little group, a little huddle, putting all their hopes into the Giants to knock the Cowboys off their high horse. But even if the Giants beat the Cowboys, the Cowboys are still playoffs bound, still going to have that spot coming up the NFC East, still got the best record. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty freaking good. Pretty freaking good about my Cowboys going into December. Or actually in December and going into the playoffs, man. Also, one more thing, guys. Dez has looked better each game. Like, the past few games, he's gotten better and better and better. This game, his numbers didn't get better, but he still looked better. He's getting more aggressive, going after more balls, making more plays. Like, this is looking good, dude. I think Dak and Dez are getting better and better. All we need is for Dak to get more comfortable in the pocket. Because what teams are going to do to stop Dak is they're going to try to contain those DNs. They're going to send those DNs on, on wild rush angles, get Dak stepping up in the pocket. And honestly, Dak is not comfortable stepping up in the pocket. It, it's so obvious. Dak steps up in the pocket, ducks his head in, ducks out, and gets to run it. Dak's not comfortable stepping up in that pocket, in my opinion. So I think we'll definitely see more teams the ability, if they can, to send those DNs and linebackers rushing wide angles to get Dak to step up and maybe poke that ball loose. But other than that, man, hey, as a football fan, not even being biased, the Cowboys are looking good. If you don't agree with me, you're probably a hater. You're probably a hater. You're probably a salty-ass Redskins fan. Word to Otto. You're probably a salty-ass Eagles fan. Shout out to Bud. You're probably a down and out Saints fan. Shout out to Coop. you probably a Desperate Patriots fan. Shout out to Shake. Like, duh. Cowboys are that team, man. They're that fucking team. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. These packs looking dry to my dick. I'm out, boys. Peace.